Hi scribes, how's the writing going? I'm sure by now you know enough to put together a really decent story, so I'm just going to applaud and cheer you on with a big smile. Okay, so we're still in plot devices, and we understand that plot devices are writing tools used to enhance your storytelling. So far, we've discussed five. Red Herring, Plot Voucher, Ticken Time Bomb, MacGuffin, and Love Triangle. Now, on to the next, Death Traps. The explanation of death traps is really as literal as the name implies. To use a death trap as a plot device, imagine this scenario. The protagonist is captured by a villain who attempts to use an elaborate and often sadistic method of murder. This would definitely increase tension as viewers watch the character try to escape. A death trap also offers a moment's exposition as the villain reveals key plot details. Another plot device is Quest. Many of the world's most popular and timeless narratives involve characters on a quest. Quest is a very popular plot device used in the adventure genre. For example, in the Indiana Jones films, Indiana Jones is forever on a quest to one place or the other, trying to save the world or save something slash someone. These quests drive the narrative and various subplots fall into place around them. The next plot device is Alibi. This is most prevalent in mysteries and the subgenre of whodunits. The alibi is an explanation for how a character could not have committed the crime in question. It allows you, the writer, to point the guilt towards a specific character only to reveal that they have an alibi, which then shifts the plot into a different direction. It makes for exciting, suspenseful storytelling. Yet another plot device is the cliffhanger. A cliffhanger is one of the most commonly used plot devices, for good reason. By not resolving an ending, a writer keeps viewers yearning for more and certain to come back. This style is mostly seen in TV series or films with sequels. And now, for the tenth and final plot device, we have Deus Ex Machina. You can pronounce the last word as Machina or Machina. Deus Ex Machina means God from the Machine. The term was first used in ancient Greek and Roman drama, where it meant the timely appearance of a god to unravel and resolve the plot. The Deus Ex Machina was named for the convention of the gods appearing in the sky, an effect achieved by means of a crane at that time. In plotting the story, Deus Ex Machina is when a person or thing appears or is introduced into a situation suddenly, which helps connect the loose ends of an entire plot and brings them to resolution. For example, in the Lord of the Rings trilogy, the wizard Gandalf often functions as a Deus Ex Machina character able to appear in tense moments to resolve situations that may otherwise seem hopeless. Now, I must warn you about this particular plot device. As interesting as it may seem, it's often criticized as inartistic, too convenient and overly simplistic. And I see the reason why. Because it sometimes feels like the writer created a very complex situation which perhaps the viewers already find quite interesting and captivating. But then the writer got too lazy to resolve it and introduce a convenient god from the machine to wave a magic all fixing wand over it. Problem solved. So be careful when or if you decide to use this device. Try not to lose your audience. That said, note these two important tips for using plot devices in your writing. One. Use plot devices only to enhance your core story. A plot device is not a gadget to cover up terrible plot holes or two-dimensional characters. Quality storytelling still requires strong fundamental storytelling, vivid world building and relatable characters. Get these elements in place first and then layer on plot devices. 2. Keep your plot devices organic to the narrative. Fiction depends on an audience suspension of disbelief. A clunky plot device can result in loss of the suspension of disbelief. Suddenly, instead of paying attention to the main character and the world of the story, viewers might find themselves analyzing the plot device itself. So there we have it, scribes. We've come to the end of story plotting. What it is, what it takes, and how you can use plot devices to beautify the story you're telling. 
In the next episode, we'll begin to look at a concept that's as straightforward as it's jarring. <laughs> it's called Logline. Till then, bye. P.S. Let's pick up the conversation in the comments or send an email to writenowscribes at gmail.com. Also say hi on IG at writenowscribes. <laughs>